something. Can I do a strength check to do it faster? Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll do a check on that in, in a minute. Right? Um, what do you guys want to do? Visit a Jill. Do you want to go check up on Jebediah and uh, Teddy? Or I guess we should. Oh, Give me an idea you, check. Yeah. Also, um, yeah, I didn't want anyone to be alone. Give me an idea check. And that's under intelligence. I never had any memory of any of this. Yeah. That's okay, intelligence. Okay. Yes. Um, one thing that Tommy said last night that jumps in your mind was that he was uh, basically uh, that y'all would never find him. Mm-hmm. And he had the perfect hiding place. Mm-hmm. Oh, and you didn't mention that to anybody else I before. That, yeah, that's okay. okay. But I'm throwing that out there because. Anyway, so. Okay. I don't know. What do you guys want to do? I can take I can take it out of your hands and I can give you something today. I'll do the magic that he lives on top of our treehouse. Oh, you know? Oh no! no but it's Is he like a bat that's like in the tree? He flies. But it's sunlight hits the top of that treehouse. Hopping up there. You guys haven't noticed it. Where's the treehouse picture? <laughs> the treehouse has a pretty flat roof. Um, yeah, you can totally have a cop, but well, yeah, but you would probably see it as you approach the treehouse. Oh, That's the only thing. One thing that Billy, oh, sorry. One thing that Tommy told me last night was that he has a good hiding spot. Hiding spot. Now we wouldn't be able to find him, which is. Hmm. Didn't he also say an answer? No, maybe not. I didn't say that. I might have forgot to say that too. Never mind. You get more chances. <laughs> where, where would Tommy be hiding? It's the most obvious place. It'd be somewhere around our tree house. He also might be hiding at the train station. Train station? But we've been all around there. But not inside. I guess it's where the shot. Train station is locked up. You have to break in. Hell yeah. Break in now. Billy's got to bust the window to try to get in. Okay. Can I, can I, wait, can I, what are you kids doing? Can I fighting brawl? Can I just bust it? No, he broke a window, he said. <laughs> and um, somebody's coming towards you. It looks like it's the mailman. What the hell are you children doing? What the hell? Wham! He smacks you hard in the head, in the back of the head. Oh, God. <laughs> This is against the law. This is not public property. Get out of here. Okay, well, we were just... He's got a handful of mail. We were just doing an investigation, okay? <laughs> Look, I don't care what games you're playing. You can't just break into houses and buildings just because you want to. What is wrong with you children? Well, no one was here. It's not like anyone lives here. We were just... All right, come with me. You come with me, too. He grabs you by the arm. This is a I'm terrible idea. Come with me. Come with me. <laughs> He drags y'all home. No, okay. Um, let's okay. see. What's your mom do? Oh, shit. Uh, she's a teacher. Hey. Nobody's home. All right, you're with me today. To your mom's parents stay home. home or oh, she? she's a teacher. You guys decided she that. Wait, she's, right. she's, 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 she's a teacher, and uh, I believe Dad works in a factory. She, he, has a uh, he, he works on a cattle ranch. Yeah. That's right. He works out of town. It's not really a cattle ranch, but there's cattle there. That's right. All right, you two are with me today. This is uh, this is what's his name? Here Help he me is. deliver mail. This is Tim Bowman. Tim Bowman. Uh, You're not going out of sight from him. Boom. Wow, he looks like a blur coming out of a train. Yeah. Oh, it was actually that's an actual mailman. That, that is picture, the opposite but. of HD. Yeah. That's so he makes uh, you guys go with him the rest of the day on his route, taking mail. He's not letting you out of his sight until your parents get home. This oh. man looks like a collection of JPEG artifacts. <laughs> it's not. It's an actual legitimate. <laughs> it's not. We, we go into the world. It's a collection of JPEG artifacts. It's like the most boring of around town. I know, because it was a tiny Tim picture. Bowman. But I liked the picture. Yeah, Tim Bowman. <laughs> so you two fussing each other about this for a while. Um, <laughs> I believe we're discussing secretly to just run for it. He knows who you are. Oh, if you run for it and he finds you, that's going to get you all both in a lot more trouble. You know that. He is an adult. It is 1929. He basically owns you right now. He's as good as a cop. So you can make the run for it. You guys can, you guys can try to make an escape, but he's expecting you to stick with him the rest of the day and he will... <laughs> You know, go ahead and talk loudly, but say you're whispering. It's fine. That was bad. Yeah. Okay. 
So I was okay. just like, no, we followed your first idea, and that was a mess. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. Richard, he's <laughs> digging a second <laughs> hole. Might, Another coffin goes in there. Tommy. Fills it back up. It's working on a third hole. He might get four done before nightfall. No, I'm Maybe. He'll probably at least get three done before nightfall. This is what you're saying. I have my bike with me, I I assume the bikes, you left the bike back at the house. Oh, it wouldn't take oh, me very long. Kind of no, it won't take you long to get back to the bike and get back to town. I'm trying to do it. I'm like, <laughs> what time is it? The After the second hole, it's probably like 3 in the afternoon. I'm gonna, what? It's what are you doing? I'm I like glare at you. Like punch you in the yeah, shoulder. The okay, yeah, you can punch I thought you just got a little too hard, so like meaningful. Yeah. 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 give me a strength check. Hell yeah. If you don't make it, it's going to take you longer to... 18. 18 out of a... That's a... 75? 18 out of 75, 75 is... <laughs> see, uh, 14, 15, 16. It's not a... It's, it's not, not, okay. not, it's not a critical, extreme. but it is... It's not a uh, extreme, but it is a hard success. I mean, it is a success. So, no, it's a hard success. Yeah. It's a hard success. Um, yeah, you rip up the boards, and yeah, there's fucking Van Zandt. <laughs> <laughs> He's just laying on the ground. Yeah. Uh, now you I'm a, yell. I'm a stake him through the chest. Uh, okay. I'm going to take hold the on. crucifix out. Hold on, hold on. Make me a luck check. And hold it in the hand. Make me a luck check, Peter. Okay. We're going to see if, how close, like, if, this, if you pulled the perfect boards up. If you make a luck check, you got the boards up so you can just do it. You got the mallet, so yeah. Uh, that would work. Uh, uh, 47 out of what? 55. Oh, okay. That's a success. Yeah, you pull up enough. If you pull up, if you take another half hour, you can pull up enough to easily dispatch him. Okay. If you want to do it right now, it's going to be harder. I'm, Unless you I'm, move the body. I'm going to go ahead and stake him right now. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. It takes a little longer to stake him. <laughs> and I'm doing the crucifix out, too, because yeah. I'm scared. How? I don't know. Stake, hammer. And then, like, crucifix, like... Like, I, I, I put it on, on the... Just the shove it in my belt? I don't know, just front. somewhere. Okay. Visible. Okay. Um, alright. So, uh... I should do this alone, but I don't want to, I don't want to risk it. The first blow... Know that whole... <laughs> what? What's going on? The first blow of the hammer, uh, his eyes fly open. Okay. What, what is going on on this side of the table? Billy's dead. I'm sorry. I was trying, oh, to, I was trying to be like, you like Billy? <laughs> and then he was like... <coughs> okay, okay, anyway... Yes. Billy's dead, guys. Billy, like, yeah. might be dead. Thank you, Billy. The first blow of the hammer, um, Van Zandt's eyes fly open, and the body opens its mouth in a silent scream, flinching and twitching, hands and feet flailing. You can hear the feet banging against the floor underneath you. Blood, bright red blood wells up from the wound. Um, I need a sanity check from you. This is terrifying and horrific. The guy was obviously dead. It is the most sane. 40. Is he? Hell yeah. 40. BB. You know what, Billy? You still take three points. Hell yeah. Still? Yeah. Fucking killed him. This is a dead guy. No, this is a dead guy that was laying under the floorboards, and now he's all thrashing up. around. Uh, 73, so I'm down to 70. You keep, what do you do? Are you done? Do you keep hitting? I'll keep going. Okay. Then, 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 then. <laughs> okay, you, uh, a couple more blows. Can I do a strength check? Can uh, I get that extreme? No, you don't need it. Uh, yeah, you can do a strength check. Let's just see if it's good hits. You'll okay. get it in there eventually. Alright. I have a technical question. What happens if you like during rigging words? Uh, it moves towards gravity. It, well, so you end up, if you're laying on your back, normal dead body. So, like, the blood all settles, so you end up with huge bruises. Everywhere where the blood yeah. goes. Okay. Uh, rigor mortis only lasts uh, between yeah. like 12 and 36 hours, I believe, though. Yeah. And then the body loosens up again. So, but if you cut someone... If you cut somebody after they die, they shouldn't bleed. A little blood might be there. Dribble out, but like... It really won't dribble gotcha. that much either. Yeah, it's not going to come out a lot. It might like drip out. Like pumping, it's like, Correct. you know, it, it's kind That's of... That's why there was an old okay. superstition that, you know, if somebody got stabbed or somebody... If, Somebody moves the body and it bleeds. That means the killer's around close by. That's the body telling you that killer. Yeah. The one who drew the blood is I'm just curious. Yeah. yeah, and then rigor. Yeah, and then yeah. Did you make your strength check? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, they're good hits. Um, there is a um, a terrible smelling black liquid oozes up out of the corpse and it grows still. All right. I'm trying to decide if I should put more in just in case. 
More steaks? Yes. Mm, if you want. Uh, I don't have. I have it's that knife moving. still. I could. That'd be a fucking chore to decapitate. You gotta decapitate it with a knife. Yeah, it's with a rusty knife rusty too. Knife. Old rusty yeah. knife. Yeah. Up to you. Uh, That's gonna require another sanity test. Oh yeah, it would. It would. Billy, it's knife. What are you doing? Billy's the knife. What are you doing? Are you gonna cut the head off or leave it for now? Uh, I don't want you don't have any garlic either. So I know. Now. Uh, you can think about that for a minute. Okay, we're dealt with Richard. You I could. I could. Ice I house, you guys are in prison essentially. <laughs> Dang. The ice house would happen next. You think about it, Yori. No time is passing while you think about it. Okay. Except for like literal time potentially, like a couple minutes. Um, <laughs> clip clop, clip clop, clip clop, clip clop, clip clop. Clip clop. Yeah. Um, Yo, what's up, Wilbur? See ice wagon coming. He's sitting in the front of it with his head just down. Check him with your mirror. Clip clop, clip clop, clip clop, clip clop. Clip clop, clip clop. In case he has been bitten. Wait, no, there's no way he's been bitten. He's on daylight, right? He's in daylight, yeah. Put his head down. Right. Here he is. Keep cigarettes in his hat, usually. He doesn't have one in his mouth. That's odd. Usually he's always got the cigarette in his mouth. Why don't you hide just in case this goes wrong? That way he doesn't know there's two of us here. One man. And you're just alone in a wheelchair? Absolutely. (laughs) Why don't I hide you? (laughs) Because if you're caught, I can't save you. But if I'm caught, you might can save me. You're just alone in the middle of the road in a wheelchair that you wheeled yourself all up. To get ice. To get ice. (laughs) Perfect plan, Teddy. (laughs) 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 Teddy can wheel himself. (laughs) And then it goes to that Paul Rudd clip. So where are you going? Where are you going? Are you going to run behind the... um... I guess I'm just kind of like... We're we're in like kind of... It's all wood. Everything in woods around. I'm just going to be behind like bushes or a tree or something. You can easily do this. Uh, Wilbur brings the, um, it's, it's, it's pretty late. It's almost 5 o'clock by the time this happens, okay? Because you guys had to wait most of the day. He comes in, um, doesn't seem to notice you even, just goes over to where the stable is with the horse, stumbles out of the ice uh, wagon, uh, unhooks the horse. I don't know if you want to interrupt. You can interrupt anytime you want. He's yeah, like, I'm just going to start wheeling up to Okay. Him. He passed me, I guess. Yeah, he did. He didn't seem to notice you. But his head was <laughs> down there. He was just, he didn't even look at you, dude. Hard. He probably didn't even see you. Um, yeah, you can get over to him. He's unhitching his horse real slowly, and just kind of, oh, he looks yeah. like, yeah, just, he looks like terrible. Just be an asshole. Can I just, like, roll by him? Like, I don't notice him, either? Yeah, you can roll by him. <laughs> he doesn't, yeah, seem, to see you, he doesn't seem to notice you. <laughs> oh, just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, now he does. Oh, hi, Wilbur. <laughs> Hello, Teddy. Don't How are you doing? You He's good. better than you, it seems. He's all pale. And He's I'm in a wheelchair. Where'd you get sick? He looks sick. I'm tired of the weather. Where'd you get sick? We're all under the weather this day. He's He continues working. What's wrong with you, sir? I'm just, I got a cold. Cold working in an ice house? <laughs> <laughs> Make me a spot in <laughs> It happens. Of course it does. Franklin. Yes. Spot. What do I spot? <laughs> oh, yeah. He's got some bug bites or something. You get a lot of bugs in the ice house, sir. Not usually. He starts. He leads his horse over to the stables. Well, it looks to me like some might have touched me on the neck there. Yeah. You can hear this one, i Have they bitten you multiple times? What? There's a couple. I got a couple on my neck. He's feeding the horse and making sure he's got fresh water. <laughs> Have you invited anyone into your home, sold anyone ice recently that is new to the area? No, I just been making my deliveries. Where have you been making deliveries? Anywhere new? No, same old places, Teddy. What are you doing way out here? I came to get ice, of course. Why else would I be here? Well, I'm delivering on Tuesday. Y'all can't wait. I cannot wait for this ice, sir. All right. Wait, are you taking it yourself? Yes, sir. That's going to freeze my legs. I can't feel them. <laughs> Did Daddy tell you that? Yes. 
<laughs> He's a harsh, harsh man. He's going over towards the uh, to the to the ice house door. <clears throat> I won't follow him in. Yeah, he just goes in and gets the nearest ice. Give him a thumbs up. That's not really gives, so you're you're out of listen range, maybe, right? Or um, listen inside range. the ice house, you might have trouble hearing him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he wipes off the sand sawdust from some ice near the door. He grabs a couple blankets, puts them in your lap, puts the ice on top of it, puts another blanket on top of that. Oh, great. He says, just bring them blankets back, or I can pick them up Tuesday. If you want, you can just leave them on your front porch. Um, they're pretty distinct blankets. I mean, they're just, they're very heavy, but they're like blankets you'd use in a barn or something. They're not blankets that you really sleep in. So, All right, so, there you go. Come on, it's cold in here. Sir, before I leave, can I caution you while we're in this ice house? Uh, what? I'm always careful. These are stacked the way they're supposed to be stacked. They won't fall. What if I was to tell you that not the bites on your neck are not from bugs, but something far more dangerous? Like a raccoon? Like bigger than a raccoon. These are bug bites. Can you lock your doors at night? Does anybody lock their doors at night? I would if I was bit by bugs twice. <laughs> <laughs> what is what is locking your door going to do against bugs? They're not bugs, sir, but they are something that cannot come in your house unless you let them. And you do not want to get bit again. So please do not get bit again. All right, Teddy. All right. Mm-hmm. Come on. Let's go. Lock your doors. <laughs> Closes up the ice house door. She lock gives it. you a little wave as you, like... <laughs> Scooch away, and uh, then he yes. stumbles over to the uh, to his lean to, and he goes inside. I'm gonna roll up to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys get well, to go. I, I must say, Teddy, the ice house was cold, but not as cold as the cold shoulders I saw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I think he's a goner. <laughs> Didn't seem very. I warned him at the ice house, but I don't think he's going to lock his doors. He's going to get bit again tonight. Or he's already bit three times and he's good as dead as a doorknob. At least I got this ice. Yeah, yeah what do you want to do with that ice? I don't know. Just what dump it in the woods. <laughs> you take it home. You're supposed to get ice on Tuesday. That's tomorrow. So. Yeah, I guess. Or no, you're supposed to get sometime later this week. You're supposed to get ice. Yeah, you can take it home. He probably noted it, so he probably won't deliver to you guys again this week. I should okay. probably take it home. Yeah, you probably should. All right, let's get it home. All right, you guys head home. Yori, did you make a decision on um, what to do with this body? It's still early afternoon for you. These guys waited all day. These guys were trapped in the uh, with mailman Tim. We'll you. And you were so, like, you kept watching. Um, I'd like an idea check to remember, or a note check to remember. Uh, what it was that uh, you could give to someone as a cure for vampirism. It involved vampires' blood, but I can't remember what else. No, Teddy told you there was no cure. Once they're dead, there's no cure. Well, once they're dead, but like once they've been bitten like two times, you said there was a cure. We read something that there was a cure mm-hmm. involving vampires' blood, and you drank it. There was, uh, no, that was, um, oh yeah, bread. Oh, if you made bread with the wheat and the, the vampire's blood... blood. Uh, oh, eating bread yeah. made from flour uh, mixed with vampire blood is supposed to make you invulnerable to vampires. Oh, yeah. That was one of the facts that you guys <laughs> found out. I like to spot hidden for like Trend. any sort of like, even if it's broken, jar or cup, some sort of container. There's that jug. Those cans. You dumped those, those cans, cans and threw them in the woods somewhere. The jug probably has a stopper, doesn't it? Yeah, it's got a cork in it. It's, <laughs> a, it's one of those good sized like clay jugs. Yeah, yummy. Is the blood still like coming out the black? Ick. Um, not really. It's all kind of settled there. Yeah. Dag. Oh yeah. Um, I'm actually gonna go get the blankets. Mm-hmm. Put the board back. Okay. Yeah, you can put uh, the board put the back. Blankets over it. There's still nails sticking out of the board, but yeah, put the I mean, you can bang over it. it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was right under where he used to sleep. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> There was something I can't remember now. I was trying to decide whether I wanted to leave the crucifix there. Oh, yeah, you could. Like, on top of the corpse, so that a zombie... Oh, they could just send match. Yeah. Right on you, are you the only one who hasn't had hours and hours passed? I know. Are they loose nails? 
Um, nah, you'd have to search the house. I'll we'll search the house. Okay, make me a spot hidden. Um, there's a third one going in. Is he starting with 94? He's starting, starting to dig up with a hole. No, you don't find any loose notes. Okay. And the ones that are in boards you can't get at, this is a mallet, not a hammer. Yeah, no, I have a hook. No hook on it. Yeah, no, I know. Um, any sort of like um, wood that's like kind of like wedge shaped I could find. Wedge shaped? Okay. Like like broken pieces, just like it doesn't have to actually be like a perfect wedge. You, you like can find shard. some shards of wood, yeah. Yeah, that's I'm going to go over to the right? front door mm-hmm. and I'm going to put them into around the the frame in the frame and like mallet them in. Okay. Yeah, you can kind of seal up the front door. Okay, no more out the window. Yeah, you can open up one of the windows, pull the shutters open. Well, most of the glass is all broken anyway. Yeah. What there is of it. Some close back up. Okay. Yeah. You head back to town. Yep. Oh, oh and I'm, I I uh, I guess I'm going to sneak in and put in the the mallet and ice pick. <laughs> no, no, no. This would have happened way before he got there. Oh, okay. So at some point before Mayo showed up, um. Billy, showed Billy up comes back and he puts back the tools that he borrowed before he leaves again. And I explained to them that I staked a vampire. Oh, yeah. Okay. There you go. Yeah. We can mock the We can retcon that in. You guys have anything to say about that or shall we move on? How? How did you. I took the stake. Uh, he was under the floorboard, I guess, right? Billy's best. Uh, I staked him. He's <laughs> <laughs> best. I killed his blood everywhere. There's no blood on Billy. He's not moving blood. anymore, though. Uh, black blood came out afterwards, after the red blood. Are you okay mentally? Oh, Billy's <laughs> best. <laughs> I haven't done what you've done. Can I stay at one of y'all's mouths tonight? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we have a guest room. Oh, really God. Pass this to Billy. Oh, Anyway, okay. Is that a fiver? Mm-hmm. Five. Y'all oh, count as one. Yeah. So, um, okay, so then, uh, Billy, what do you want to do the rest of the day? Because uh, this is retro in before Mayo came back, but they're going to wait for Mayo. Mayo... I'm going to check on my garlic, even though I know it's not there yet. Cause okay, I'm so you're going home, you check on your garlic, it's not there yet. Um, Grandpa's got some chores for you, too. <laughs> so we use that to kill the afternoon. Uh, when are you heading back? Richard, around dinner time? Just kill him, man, you have to do chores. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, I, I guess I would also uh, go meet with whoever had the axe. I think it was Mike. Uh, nobody's <laughs> home at uh, Slayton's house. Ah, that's right. Can't okay. find him. Do you come back at dinner time or what? Uh, well, how long would he, how, can I estimate how long it would take him to finish the fourth bowl? He probably won't finish it tonight. Or he might be able to finish it by after dark, is your guess. Okay, I'm just telling him then. Okay. Alright, um... I'm going to look around town for them then. It is, um, okay. You spot Michael and Ella Marie uh, being taken out of the um, the mail uh, cart, essentially. It's a, it's a, yeah. it's a, it's a mail wagon. Um, to their house, uh, where they are presented to their mother at the front door by Tim Bowman, the mailman. He tells him, uh, you, I don't know how close you want to get, but basically for you guys, he told them that, uh, that Mike was busting a window and Ellen Marie was there. They were break, trying to break into the train station for some reason, even though they know they're not supposed to be in there. And so he was going to let, uh, you handle it, is basically what Tim Bowman says. And your mother is shocked. Uh, she tells you both to go to your room, and your father will deal with you when he gets home. I'm gonna sneak over to the bedroom windows. Who's? Uh, my closet. You really room. gonna go to yeah. my bedroom window? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can't. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, it's daylight. I mean, it's still light out. It's before supper time. Mom, you hear mom in the kitchen. I'm well, still you, cocky. You're gonna tap, tap, tap on her window. I've decided, I've decided, Billy, open I've decided Billy's a little bit of a uh, likes likes to make jokes. I'm trying to decide if he's gonna do well, something. Decide quick. Right. Her window's open. I'm assuming that you, next day when it's daylight, you'd open the window because it gets really hot in, in the house. Yeah, yeah. So her window's open, and she is what? What are you doing after you're sent it. to your room? I mean, sitting in bed, sulking at the at the desk, writing furiously, and you're. Your journal about the injustice of the world. Lifting yep. weights. Lifting weights. Okay. 
So okay. she's she's at her, at her she's writing something at her desk. She looks really angry. Um, she hasn't noticed you yet. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna okay. make like a like a, the best bird noise Billy can make. You like, do it. Yeah. <laughs> no, do it. Okay. You hear that right outside your window. Billy, I know it's you. You don't have to do that stupid bird noise. I stank the head sand. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> and I'm hopping over the mic. And he just walks away. Billy! <laughs> Mike's, Mike's Billy. is not far from yours. You'll be able to see Billy outside if you just lean out the window. And Michael, what did Mike's in his room doing what? Uh, I'm doing some sit ups. Okay, Michael's really? doing sit ups. What the hell? I go over to the window. I stake the hands up. Good job. Um, I didn't know I couldn't decapitate him though. All I had was the knife. I didn't really want to do that. My my twitching. You can hear you. this. You can hear this. Yeah. Axe is in the shed. We can do it tomorrow. Good point. What are y'all planning without me? I'm right here. <laughs> She's leaning out her window. We got the decapitation in tomorrow. If he's still there. Okay, great, but don't not include me. No, I know. I just want to tell you both. Now I'm gonna go to the gym, guys. I can. I write furiously in my journal about men. We start to see Jill's point. Okay. Um. What are two of you? You guys can go home. I'm it's dinner time. I'm going home. Uh, okay. And saying you went home too. Oh, I guess uh, sure. I'll, stop, no, I'll stop at uh, the house and tell him I'm going to be a jeopardize. Oh, tell him grandpa that? Yeah. Yeah, he's fine with it. He's glad you're making friends. Pat, pat, pat on the back. I'm glad my grandpa's going to be a vampire. Are you I'm having dinner over him. there, too? Yeah. All right. Well, you have a good dinner. He goes in the uh, kitchen starts getting and gets the peanut butter out. Okay. Grandpa's going to be a vampire. Um, <laughs> I can't protect That's um, a vampire. Okay. Oh, my God. When your father gets home... Ella Marie and Michael, you get a, a harsh talking to. You are told that uh, the money to repair the uh, train station would take you split equally split the cost of replacing the glass and the cost of the repair. Equally. Were you there? Yep. I'm not telling my brother, but. <laughs> or was it just Michael that did it? Uh-oh. I'll go ahead and Give say, I, I was the only one who break, broke the window. But your sister was there with you. She she tagged along, but she, it wasn't her idea. I don't care whose idea it was. She should have said something to you. She got much more sense than you do. She tried. Uh-huh. <laughs> don't be lying to me, Michael. Give me back my hand. I was, I was down with it, actually. I was like, okay. Uh, Did you just say she tried to tell me? She, yeah, she tried, tried to tell me not to. I'm being honest. Is that true, Ella Marie? <laughs> they should separate you guys and give you the police I'm just not speaking. Michael said it was on your fault. I'm just not speaking. Okay. Is that true, Ella Marie? Answer me. Yes. I went along with it. Then we'll take it out of both y'all's money. Once I find out how much it costs, I'm so disappointed with you children. Go to your rooms. You spend the next week not playing with your friends. Oh. In the 1920s? <laughs> it's like in your office. A week in the 1920s was like a year in our time. <laughs> All right. You guys are sent to your room. Well, that's not going to work, is it? Nope. No way. Why are you talking back there? Go to your room. It's like, I'm still here, y'all. No, no, no. You went back to your room and then you started talking. Yeah. It's not a big house. Okay. You can say, I'm whispering, and then talk out loud. You can do that. But nobody said that. I was talking like at a normal volume, but... No, the first time. But, yeah. But if you want to whisper, but still we can hear you, you can just say. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, like, that's fair to say that. I was just talking to her normal volume. Mm-hmm. Like, I just didn't hear it like that. I won't do that. That doesn't mind mm-hmm. you to whisper. Mm-hmm. I'm going to yell. No, I mean, I've been doing it. Oh, have you? Oh, yeah. All right, so, are you guys yeah. having a conversation? You go into your rooms? Yeah. Your, your dad is pissed. Yeah, start talking. Uh, start whispering. Okay, yeah, you can whisper back. Yeah. The doors aren't that far from each other. 
And she's a cool child. Is that leaving? Well, it's well legal. Oh, it's legal. Nah, no, dude. Legalize it though. <laughs> Shh, quiet, quiet. This one is not, but he's out of town. We need to go meet somehow. You need to go meet? Yeah, we're gonna like come back and talk with everyone, right? Right, right, right. You can. Uh, you, yeah, you can try to sneak out. Um, yeah, I'll need a plan. I mean, you guys can watch your windows, but your parents are likely to come check on you at some point between now and bedtime. You know what I mean? I mean, put the pillows under the blankets. You can try that. You can try that. It could work. Yeah. I'll leave them. Okay. I'm just saying, you will need a plan. Okay, if you just leave the, the house, there's a good plan. chance they'll notice. This is the plan I have. Is like, I-